So here in Final Cut Pro 10, we're going to have a look at how we work with the blade tool. So the blade tool is useful if you want to do a basic splitting of a clip, um, chop out a section of the clip, and you can do this in a couple of different ways using a tool and also using a couple of different shortcuts. We'll look at both. We'll also look at how you can use the range selection tool for splitting a clip as well and for chopping out sections of clips. So first of all, um, we've got a few different clips down on our timeline here. And we're going to jump in and look at how we use the basic blade tool. So where you'll find the blade tool is underneath the tools section here. So we can see we have our main selection tool. And when you're working with the blade tool, it's always important to jump back to your selection tool as soon as you've used the blade tool, because otherwise you're going to slice up your clips where you don't want to. So it's useful to remember a couple of these shortcuts. So the B for blade tool, and then also A to jump back to the selection tool. So if we select the blade tool and we're working with it, we can find a spot here in this clip where we want to slice the beginning of this clip. So we'll slice it here. And you can see essentially what the blade tool does is it splits this clip into two different clips at that point where we click. The problem is if we keep the blade tool active and we try and select things, then we're gonna end up slicing our clip in lots of random locations that we don't want. So we'll just go to edit, undo a couple of times and we can use command and Z to undo things too and we want to jump back to the selection tool now when you're moving between the blade tool and the selection tool using the shortcuts b as you can see i've brought up the blade tool and a is really useful so we can see now that we've got the selection tool we can select each of those clips individually and we can delete that first clip so without selecting the blade tool and um, we can slice the clip as well so if we have our playhead in a certain location where we're ready to slice that clip. So we'll come here and, and this looks like a good moment to slice. We'll hold down the shortcut command and tap B and that will toggle the blade tool and it will slice that clip in half as well. The advantage of that is that now when we slice that clip in half, we don't have the blade tool selected. So we're not gonna accidentally slice anything else up. We can select the second half of this clip and slice it up. Now, if we've got a couple of different clips stacked on top of one another and I'll just place this graffiti clip on top here, it may be that we want to slice this clip right where this clip ends. So if we zoom in, and it's often when you're really zoomed in and you can't see uh, the end of a clip that you might want to slice it at this particular point in time. So more often than not, if I was editing this clip, I would jump to the end and just use the selection tool to select the end and drag it in. But if you're super zoomed in um, or you've got longer clips, then using the blade tool uh, becomes useful at that particular point in time. So you can see we can come to this particular clip and we can use the blade tool to slice that. So we can slice it with the blade tool, use A to jump back to the selection tool and delete that second clip. Now if we want to use the shortcut and we'll just take a step back here and then I'm going to reposition this clip so the graffiti is actually over that edit point so we get this graffiti wall in that shot here. So if we want to use the command B shortcut um, to slice this, then we need to have that clip selected in order to do this. So if we don't have the, the clip selected, you can see here when we use command B, it's not going to do anything because that clip is on a connected timeline. So we can either hover over it like this. You can see with the scrubbing turned on, I can do command B and now with my playhead hovering over there, it will slice that clip. Or I can select that clip and then without hovering over it, I can use command and B and it's going to slice those two clips. So we can delete that. Now I'm just going to drop the size of my clips on the timeline here, the height of them. I'll just zoom out a little bit more. So one instance where I have used the blade tool quite a lot is if I'm layering titles on top of clips. So we'll come into our titles here and we'll add in a basic title. So we'll just drop this over here. And if you've got multiple titles that you might be animating on, so maybe we've got a couple of titles here, we'll just quickly set these up. Give them a bit of a style. So we have two titles here and we can just move one of these down I'm not too worried about the size or anything like that if we want to slice everything at this particular point in time so i'll stretch out this clip again so if we wanted to cut everything 
at this particular point in time on the edit, so the titles would disappear as we cut to the, the next clip here on the main storyline, then we can use another shortcut to actually slice all of those. So if we select the blade tool, and when we're hovering over these clips, if we hold down shift, it's actually going to slice through everything at that particular point in time, which means rather than having to slice each individual clip, like so, we can actually just hold down shift at the playhead, and you can see our icon for our blade tool changes, and we can slice everything there. And now, if we jump back to the selection tool, so I'm just tapping A to jump back, we can now delete everything after that point in the playhead, and we cut away and lose the titles and everything as we cut to the next clip. So that works well. Um, now, sometimes um, if you're shooting footage, you'll do a wide shot and then zoom in, but you might want to cut out the zoom in part of this. It doesn't always work too well as you're kind of adjusting your camera. So I've got a point in the second clip where if I wanted to slice out this section from here to here where I'm zooming in, with the blade tool it means I'm going to slice once here, slice once here, and then delete this middle section. But what I can do alternatively is I can grab the range selection tool and I can find the beginning of that zoom. So around about here. And I'll position my cursor over the playhead and then if we click and drag until we're fully zoomed in and we're at a nice frame, we can now slice that clip by selecting that range and pressing delete. So we can use the blade tool to slice our clip, but we can also use other tools like the range selection tool to split a clip as well. The third way of doing that without the blade tool or the range selection tool is to use I and O on the timeline. So if I play through my clip here, I can find the zoom um, and I'm using J, K and L to play backwards with J, play forwards with L and then pausing with K, I can find exactly the moment where my clip starts to zoom in. So if I hold down K now and tap J, I'm just going to jump back. Okay, and we can see the zoom stops around here. And if I press I, it's going to mark an endpoint. We'll play through the zoom, find a good frame, and mark an out point, pressing O. And now we can press delete, and it will delete that section of our timeline. So now we can just see if that matches up. So not quite perfect. So we've kind of need to come a few frames ahead, and that's where we can jump back to our selection tool to then trim that until we get a nice flow from clip to clip. Okay, so you can see I've cut the bulk of that out with the range selection tool and then use the selection tool to just make sure that those two frames on either side of that cut work out. So we've had a look at a few things there. One is to use the blade tool just to slice a clip. One is slicing multiple layers with your blade tool by holding down shift when you've got that blade tool selected. We can also, if we come over these clips, maybe we want to cut these a little bit earlier, we can hold down shift, command and B and that will slice through all of our clips there. So you can see we can now select all of those. So without even selecting the blade tool, we can slice through all those clips and select them and delete them. And so we've got some nice options there. Some other options that you might consider with the blade tool is if you're wanting to grab the blade tool to kind of slice things up, and maybe you want to add in some different um, kind of color effects on different parts of your clip, but have them flow seamlessly. So let's just come here and we'll grab a color effect of colorize or we'll colorize one clip and we'll flip this to some crazy colors and then we'll grab the next clip and we'll add colorize as well and we'll play around with this a little bit so we'll select some different colors here some nice bright colors and then we'll choose and we'll choose color curves for this one and if we come in here 
we could blast the reds up and the greens down to kind of get this effect. And so because we slice that clip, the clip is still connected and it will flow through. So we could play that through now and we get this nice kind of jump between the colors. Now, if you do do something like this and you want to modify the, the kind of flow of that, maybe we didn't get a cut in exactly the right spot, we can grab the trim tool and that will allow us to modify those cuts between those clips because it's exactly the same clip either side of that cut. We can speed up that without moving things out of sync. So you can see we can we can now play around with that nicely as we drag these around. And we could even now come to the beginning of one of these clips where we've maybe we've got this one. We'll find that point where he hits the top of the wave and we'll blade that. So hit B and we'll jump back to a colorize effect for this clip. We'll send this nice and bright increase the intensity so we get some nice bright colors there. And what we could do here is we can play that through and find the point where we hit the top of that wave. And if we blade it there, we'll click away to deselect everything, come to the beginning of this clip, and then we'll go to edit. And down here, we'll add a freeze frame. So now you can see we end up, we zoom out a little bit with something like this. Okay, so there's lots of things you can play around with there. We can shorten that freeze frame and then have it play back into motion. Cut that out and turn off the colorize and away we go. So lots of things to play around with in Final Cut Pro. You can see a couple of different creative uses for the blade tool there. Go and experiment, have some fun, and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.